All right, so this is not going to be a traditional movie review because those don't do well on the channel. It'll be pretty short and compact. Gotta watch Deadpool and Wolverine about two hours or so, and I would say it's good, right? Like that's if you want to know if it's worth watching, it's worth watching. It's not a Marvel movie, right? Like I don't know if people thought like, it's going to be compromised. It's R rated. It's all that stuff. It's still a Deadpool movie. But other than that. What does this movie do for me in terms of can Marvel catch back up and give us something decent with this Avengers shit coming up? I don't know. And I, just, I don't mean it sounds a cop-out answer. It's not a cop-out answer. But this movie is going to draw a lot of goodwill. I'm not going to go to any cameos or spoilers or anything like that. But there's a lot of people that are going to feel better about Marvel because they let this movie happen. And because of certain homages that are given in this movie. It's a very feel-good movie by the end of it. For a lot of reasons. And it's a lot of cameos, as you would expect. It's a lot of references to people who could be getting movies in the future. And that's all well and good. I guess what it, what's going to affect your perception of the future is how you shape this movie. Do you think this movie is going to be a lead-in to the mainline Avengers, like the next phase they got, or not the next phase, but the conclusion of this phase? If you think it's going to matter in that sense, then you're probably going to be disappointed. But if you think this movie is going to help shape the the others, which I think this movie actually uses to describe these people, the others I feel better about. And by the others, I mean pretty much the not as sultry, not as sexy Marvel uh, properties that pretty much Fox gave a breath to in the 2000s. And uh, I feel better about that now. I don't feel like we're going to get like just cookie cutter bullshit with, you know, Fantastic Four, with X-Men, and then with, uh, you know, again, I can't, you know, it'd be spoilers, but with some of the other properties that get featured in here that were Fox properties. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel I feel good. I, I feel good about the others. And those others may never have a real seat at the table for, you know, the, the Kang variant that we get or if we maybe get Doctor Doom, um, or if we maybe get somebody even larger, you know, Galacticus, I don't know who we end up getting. Um, I, I, I feel like anything else I say is like a spoiler and a spoiler, because uh, you can't really say that this isn't in the movie, because that would be a spoiler. I have no clue what's coming up between now and that, those series of movies, I believe that Avengers 5 is supposed to be like summer 2025. They always, I think, do blockbusters in the summer, uh, Marvel, that is. So I know Captain Falcon is supposed to be because that was, you know, that trailer was here. That's supposed to be in February. So that February slot, I'm not trying to make any predictions, but that February slot was Black Panther uh, back in 2018 before Infinity War. That was, that general area was Black Panther. I don't know if it was actually in February, but that general time was. And that was the last major movie before Infinity War came out. I'm not trying to make parallels, but I wouldn't be shocked if there was only, like, two, including this movie, two or less movies, not not this movie, but Captain Falcon. If there's only two or less movies between Captain Falcon coming out and the next Avengers Unless the Avengers got pushed back. I don't know if that happened. It maybe it got pushed back. I know they canceled mad movies and mad, mad you know, TV shit they were going to do for Marvel. Uh, once Bob Eger kind of got back going. Or Iger, I think it is. So I don't know if any movies got cut out that may have been supposed to come out. I don't know if Avengers got pushed back. I'll actually, uh, in editing this, I'll check and make sure after the fact. But assuming that we only have two or three, you know, so movies left. I don't think this movie is going to make anybody feel better or worse, really. Just indifferent about what the Avengers fuckery is going to look like. And I only say it's fuckery because it, I think most people consider what they have. What they have put out in front of you on the, the dinner table to this point from 2020 on. 
I would say it's fuckery. If, if that's your Avengers, you got some shit going on. So my work immediately. Um, I literally was just chilling, playing college football 25. I was going to edit this at some point tonight. I don't know when, but at some point. And, uh, you know, I just go down the timeline. I see, um, yeah, uh, Marvel has just announced Avengers Doomsday in 2026 and Avengers Secret War in 2027. Um, and, uh, they got a, they got Doom as the main villain, kind of like hypothesized potentially, uh, but Doom is being cast by Robert Downey Jr. Uh, so uh, this movie becomes a bit more prescient. Let's just say that I'm gonna end it on that. But this 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 movie Daredevil just became a little bit more relevant.